I spend a lot of time helping people cut the cable TV cord and switch to streaming. But there's still one bundle from cable companies that I do like. It just doesn't include any TV channels. Take a look at this deal from Spectrum. The cable company has introduced a new bundle called Spectrum One, and it includes Spectrum Internet with speeds of 300 megabits per second, no data caps, the Spectrum Advanced Wi-Fi router, and one line of Spectrum Mobile's unlimited data plan. The price for the Spectrum One bundle is $49.99 a month, but the catch is that it's only for the first year of your service. Still, I think this is a pretty good deal for some customers. Spectrum's website shows the promotional price for these services without the bundle would be nearly $85 a month. And in a news release, Spectrum says the bundle saves you $420 compared to those regular promotional rates. But after the 12 months is up, things change. Spectrum says you're going to pay these standard rates, not the promotional rates, and these are the standard rates as of November 2022. That's a big difference. Now, if you are not familiar, Spectrum Mobile is very similar to Xfinity Mobile a service that I've reviewed on this channel multiple times because I had it as my primary line for two full years. Both of these services rely on Verizon's network and their Wi-Fi hotspots for coverage. Just like Spectrum, Xfinity requires that you have internet service with them before you sign up for the mobile plan. And Xfinity also offers discounts on internet service when you bundle it with mobile phone. One thing I've noticed is that Xfinity Mobile is particularly aggressive with phone deals. At the time of this recording, you can save up to 500 bucks when you buy a high-end phone. And there's also a $100 offer if you wanna bring your own phone. So should you get mobile phone service from your cable company? And why are cable companies offering these deals in the first place? I'm gonna tackle the second question first. With the rise of cord cutting, the major cable companies are focusing a lot less on TV and more on internet service. Here's one example. When I googled Spectrum and Xfinity, they listed internet before TV. And by bundling internet with mobile phone service, the cable companies are hoping to reduce subscriber churn and keep people from switching to their competitors. Xfinity Mobile and Spectrum Mobile have become quite popular too. Not long ago, Xfinity Mobile announced that it passed 5 million subscribers. That's something few people would have predicted when I first tested it back in 2017. Now these bundles come at a time when wireless companies like T-Mobile and Verizon are offering their own 5G home internet plans and they're at very competitive rates. Maybe you've checked out my recent videos about T-Mobile home internet. The company announced in October 2022 that it's grown to more than 2 million high-speed internet customers for its service. $50 a month with auto pay, no contract, no data caps, equipment included. 5G home internet is not going to work for everyone, and Xfinity has gone out of its way to point out the downsides of T-Mobile home internet. But that's just proof that this competition is making an impact, and it's leading to better deals from cable internet providers. And that brings me to the other question. Should you get mobile phone service from your cable company? I've got a few things for you to think about. First, are you satisfied with the internet service that you get from your cable company? If not, and you've got other options, explore those instead. Don't add on services with your cable provider if you're an unhappy customer. Second, does Verizon have strong coverage where you live? Xfinity Mobile and Spectrum Mobile are both powered by Verizon's network, so the services are ideal for people who already use Verizon's network. Third, do you plan to drop internet service soon? Spectrum Mobile and Xfinity Mobile require that you have internet service with them to sign up. But if you decide to cancel your internet service down the road at a later date, you can continue to use the mobile service. They're just going to make you pay a whole lot more for it as a penalty for canceling internet. Here's the bottom line. If you sign up for the Spectrum One internet and mobile phone bundle or a similar bundle from your cable provider, make sure to read the fine print. In this case, the great deal you're getting in year one isn't as great in year two. So if you are not happy with the standard rate, know that you'll have to call up Spectrum to renegotiate after your first year or be willing to walk and find a new internet and mobile phone provider. Thanks for watching.